Ease Racer Third Power Video 8 Post Test Analysis. After the test, do you look at your grade and the questions that you got wrong? Do you want to improve with each exam? Do you want to prevent making the same mistake again? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. We all make mistakes, so the sooner we learn from these lessons, the better. Making the same mistake over and over is like getting kicked repeatedly. Do a post-test analysis after each test or quiz has been returned to you. Learn from your entire experience. Do not just look at what you did wrong, but also see what you did right. Usually there's not enough time in class to go over the entire exam, so go to office hours. As you look at the test, ask for explanations if you don't understand the answers. Ask if you can write down some short notes while looking over the exam. Beware, some teachers reuse the same exams so they will not allow you to write anything down. If so, use your memory. Post-test analysis. If you can write things down, then record your results on this chart. The top part is shown. Add more lines for more questions as needed. In the first column, write the question number. If you got it right without guessing, then record the topic in the second column. If you got it wrong or if you guessed, then record the topic in the fourth column. A guess should be considered wrong because you didn't really know the answer. Be sure to also record the types of errors, that is why you did not know the answer. After leaving office hours, record how you study for the topics you got right. Repeat these techniques because they worked. Record how you study for the topics you got wrong. Do something different next time to avoid the same mistake. Next, see if you have the same error types. If so, learn from these experiences and make some appropriate changes before the next exam. For example, if you misread, misunderstood the question, and or bubble incorrectly, then you need to slow down. Read more carefully and double check your Scantron before submitting. For future exams, ask for clarification instead of guessing at the meaning of the question. If you ran out of time, then speed up next time. In the future, practice more output techniques so you can move faster. If you misunderstood the topic, then you have inputted the wrong info. Listen in lecture and or read the textbook more carefully for the right meaning. Also, doing practice tests with answers should catch most misunderstandings. If you remember studying this topic but your memory failed, then use different memorization techniques next time to improve your recall. Last minute cramming and exhaustion can lead to memory fails. If you are clueless, then you need to ask your teacher when and where that topic was mentioned. If the topic was not mentioned in lecture, but was in the textbook, then reading the textbook and lecture notes are important. Doing this post-test analysis after all exams or quizzes will help you on future exams. Procrastination. Often after a test, it is hard to motivate yourself to start studying again. Beware, you may be buried if you wait too long. So start previewing lecture, see video 3, the day after the exam. One way to stop procrastination is to divide the big chunk into smaller pieces. Instead of studying the entire chapter, try focusing on only a few pages at a time or study for a short time, like 10 to 20 minutes only. Once you have finished the few pages or each study session, then reward yourself with a small short break. Repeat this cycle of studying and alternating with short breaks. These small pieces will add up and you will make progress. Before you know it, you will be done with the entire big chunk. The sooner you start, the sooner you will be done. Now you're ready to uncover the last video, video nine, final wrap up.